of a season. You want to try to develop something behind those guys on the perimeter. Fifth meeting with the Roadrunners. Gonzaga has won them all. They are favored greatly here tonight. But the runners with their opening possession. Greg Heister, Dan Dickow, Richard Fox. Gonzaga 4-1. Ranked number 11 in the country coming off a sterling victory against the UCLA Bruins in Honolulu. First shot off the mark. EK had his hands on it. Long rebound out of play, and it will go to Gonzaga. I would expect Gonzaga to go to the interior with EK quite a bit often early in this game. They've got a definite size advantage. Here's EK. Anton Watson, the cut. Boy, moves well without the ball, gentlemen. Absolutely. Double comes. Get yourself to the front of the rim with your hands up and available. And Richard, what will the difference be in this team if Anton looks to score it like that every night? Well, just I, I think it's always, as you see the illegal screen here from Higgins on the handoff. It, you know, no one here is expecting Anton to go get 30 a night, but what you liked was his aggressiveness, how he hunted out his offense, and he shot with a lot of confidence. He made moves with a lot of confidence. That's what he needs to maintain is that confidence, that swagger on the offensive end. There's Nolan Hickman. EK sets the screen, gets the ball. Skip pass, Nemhard, wide open three. Boy, they need that from him. Well, that's how you shoot a better percentage is get wide open looks. A double again on EK on the interior. That time, look cross court. Nemhart, the nice knockdown three. He needed one to go. He's two of 17 coming into the game. Gonzaga will watch Higgins, number one. Anton Watson watching the ball. Here's Higgins. Hickman right with him. They go to the post. Mismatch here. Stromer with the help. McGee picked it up. Three on the shot clock. Step back. Watson the rebound it's grabbed and the flush sort of a flush by Modestus and it's 5-2 and EK will shoot free throws tremendous job from EK run the floor get deep post position easier said than done especially against Okoriki who's big strong physical, but EK make yourself available and present Point guard has no option, but to give it to you down there foul called uh, Number 23 Fidelis Okereke the junior out of Carson, California Graham EK Shooting 69% this season from the free throw line, averaging just under 14 points a game. And he's one of two from the line. And again, the runners push it on the other end. A little runner is short from Wilbon. Gonzaga on the move. Nemhard into the lane. Skip the Stromer. Dusty's three. Bingo! Bingo is right. <laughs> Terrific push and transition and that's what they were expecting and he's known for coming out of high school He's a well-rounded player, but he can really shoot it It's only a matter of time before he gets on track behind that three-point line Kanslaris jump shot That's a two the big man's got a little range gentlemen Hickman driving on Wilbon turns in and out Good defense by Marvin McGee, the third. And now Higgins step back three over Nemhard. Wow. He's got a, sorry, Greg. He's got a lot of freedom within their offense, but he's also extremely quick. You can see the ball handling ability there to create separation. Here's Watson, lost the grip. I think that was off of Anton's leg, but they say it was off of number 22, Cameron Willow. Uh, Higgins not known as a shooter. Just shooting 21% on the year, less than 29% on his career, but stepped into that one with a lot of confidence. Gonzaga early is going to give him a little cushion, given his quickness. He's going to have to knock down a couple of those to try to open up the drive. EK. Boy, that was a strong move. 
He's just so efficient. Career high 61% from inside the arc. When he takes his time and no double comes, he's very difficult to slow down. Yeah, he scored through Ugnis Yarushevichus. And Watson clears the miss. Anton leads the break. Stromer thought about the three. He'll drive into the lane. Scoop off the glass is good. Oh, that's some offense. That is some offense. You are going to key in on the defense at some point in this broadcast because it's been so good early in this season. But offensively, they're not getting away from their strengths. Get that ball up the court as quickly as possible. And the noise in the McCarthy Athletic Center. And there's a jump shot by Yaru Shevishis. And it's 13-9. Yaru Shevishis with his first bucket Watson down the lane and a block is called and this is going to be on number 21 Ugnis Yaru Shevishis 15:47 to play in the opening half that's quite of a stretch for any program just don't steal any signs I think anything else is pretty acceptable <laughs> do you believe they did that no one's ever done that stole signs yeah, I mean, talking about just, Michigan football oh, it was, just what a radical idea <laughs> Dan, I'm so proud of you for yeah, knowing yeah. about yeah. football yeah seriously uh, anything you're both like proud, proud parents right now <laughs> yeah Graham EK going to work yeah look if you're not going to double Graham and he takes his time he's just too much inside That was some expert analysis because I loved it. He's just too much inside. He is. He's a load. Shot from the corner is up. Watson. Anton will keep the ball into the lane. He's going for it. Shot blocked by Cancelaris. Jaden Alexander, number 25 on the floor. And that shot is off by number 21, Yaru Shevishis. Nemhard. Watson wanted to go high low, skips to the corner. Stromer faked the three, shoot it anyways. Dusty Stromer from downtown. I guess the first one would have been too easy. One of the defense to close out. One of those. No, 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 no. Yes. yes. <laughs> Why not? Kanslaris. McGee swings the ball into the corner. Hickman up under him. Switch. Here's Alexander, five on the shot clock. Yaru Shevishus, that's well short. Nemhard with a head of steam to Hickman. Transition bucket goes. Good job from Hickman there, not settling for a tough shot. Higgins just too small to really bother him at the rim. Some of those are just good looks. So, you, and, you know, I think one of the takeaways is we're getting good looks through our offense. We just haven't been able to knock them down. Certainly tonight, I think with the Stromar and Nembhard, it's been nice to see a ball go through the hoop from the three-point line. Yeah, as a team, Gonzaga's hit all three of their looks from behind that line. Corey Stevenson, number 24, with the ball. Stromer, the last two games, had five points in 66 minutes. Already eight points in six minutes tonight for Gonzaga. And all the way to the rim in the bucket well, I think for the runners. We're talking a little bit about the struggles with the three-point line. It's, a lot of it is, you know, Gonzaga was expecting Steel Venters to be that deep three-point threat. Unfortunately, out for the season with that torn ACL, puts a little bit more pressure on others to step up and make shots from the perimeter. First turnover of the game for Gonzaga through the hands of Ben Gregg. Yeah, that's brutal. That's a guard. That goes on Nemhard's. Yes. That sheet. Well, in defense of Ben Gregg, that pass had a little steam <laughs> on it. I'm just thinking about how Dan would have reacted. <laughs> I'll tell you how I would have reacted. Don't throw the ball the next time. Wow. <laughs> no, in, in all honesty, though. Brian's got to do a better job in a situation like that. Ben, even if he catches it, he's moving away from the basket. you got to put your teammates in the best position to score or make a play. Boy, Alexander, there's some power to the rim. It's 20 to 13. The runner's now 6 of 13 from the floor to start. Nemhard stepping back. Short jump shot go. Nemhard with five.
Great show on the pick and roll there from Ben Gregg. This, this team, I think, when you watch the games over in Hawaii, they were great defensively in the pick and roll, especially Graham E.K. Got his hands on a number of balls in that pick and roll. And Greg, or Richard could attest and talk about how important it is for a big to understand the coverage and be there early. Braden Huff, his first look offensively. Jump one. That high low, that high low and then having Greg and Huff out there at the same time, you know, whichever big isn't on the low block, you've got a shooter. It really makes it difficult to double. Ken Slaris. Alexander tried the back door and now Higgins he's trapped got the ball to Alexander he'll drive on Hickman a lot of contact no call jump shot goes that's Stevenson beg your pardon Corey Stevenson and Nemhart goes to work on the other end falling away jump shot goes Zags up by 11, and they begin, gentlemen, 11 of 13. So you just had to wake the sleeping giant, right? Talk about their struggling offense. And now they're 11 of 13 to begin. Good bucket there with a the left hand by Fidelis Okereke. Tough finish. Stromer. It's been great. Nemhart thought about the back door. Nemhart falling away. Rebound one there by number 25, Jaden Alexander. And the Roadrunners come back. Twenty-six seventeen. The Roadrunners have hit eight of sixteen shots, fifty percent. Gonzaga now 11 of 14, 78.6%. Five on the shot clock. Ben Grigg almost had the steal. Kick to the corner. Shot from Higgins. Oh, and he buried it from the corner. And perfect possession. If your Bakersfield didn't start your offense till 10 seconds on the clock. End up getting that three in the corner. A nice little run here. 10.26 to play here in the first half. Ben Gregg to the post. With either the pass or the drive. Uh, in the same way we saw at times in Maui. Well, it's a delicate balance when you're a point guard who can score it as well as distribute. And you've got the freedom from Coach Few. So he's balancing those things. And look, if he plays the way he's played this first 10 minutes or so, he'll be all right throughout the course of the year. Okereke, skip pass to Chini. <laughs> all the way to Chini. Yes. Three turnovers now for Bakersfield. And in, checking in is Modestus Consleris, number 55 from Lithuania, 6'9, 205, Redshirt Jr. It's a big team for the Roadrunners out there right now. Number two, Tom Mark just checked in too, watching Watson. And now EK. When I say big, I mean long. EK, turnaround, falls off the front. Alexander with it for the Roadrunners. Down the lane, shot blocked by Junio, foul called. And this is going to be offensive. It is, it's on number 25, Jaden Alexander. Nolan Hickman took it to the chest. Terrific job from Hickman getting in front. Was he moving, gentlemen? And on second look, I think Alexander may have had a case there. You don't agree with me? You don't agree with me. Hey, listen, anything. I'm not here to analyze. That's you and Richard. Richard was shaking his I'll head. I'll look at Richard the next time. Yes. Here's uh, Watson. He knows he can't ask me about the charge block call. <laughs> I will just derail this broadcast. <laughs> that is true. EK. Falling away. Shot is short. Kanslaris there defensively. Kanslaris did a nice job look, using his length and forcing EK last couple times to have to shoot over him. And Slaris, unique player. Started his career at Creighton before transferring over. Then he's battled injuries. Torn ACL one year, and then last year he missed some time as well with another injury. Great attempt at that rebound by Okereke. Actually, that's Alexander. And now Watson going to work. 
will need help. He's got the size advantage here. He's got to take Higgins. Skip to the corner. Nemhart three long. And a rebound clear back from the Roadrunners. I like the pass, though, from June. Just a quick touch pass, get it to the better shooter. And Nemhard, simple play. That's what June needs to do on the offensive side of the ball right now to see his minutes start to creep up. Do you predict that will happen this year, Richard? I do. I like physically he's ready to play today. On this end of the floor, I think he can compete. He's a good rebounder for his size. Just the offense is, needs a little ways to go. Well, it's obvious right now the Roadrunners are going to shorten this game. They are taking waiting. it up all the way to the end of the shot clock a number of times. It's better than three and a half minutes now but without a Gonzaga field goal. EK shot was blocked. Watson in there battling. And it's off of Anton and it's Roadrunners basketball. So they're going to shorten this game, make every possession valuable. They're only down by six. Look, I mean, they're waiting until there's 10 seconds on the shot clock before they even start looking at getting into their offense and right now with the score just being plus GU plus six they're going to be content just really playing deep into the clock you know for Gonzaga how do you start to speed them up it's kind of refreshing we don't see teams try something so different often when they come in here knowing that this is one of the hardest places in America to win well a lot of times it's because Gonzaga just imposes their will on opponents the fact that Bakersfield has made a number of shots to keep it close. They can now in turn play this style Shot from the corner for three is off Junio with the rebound Nemhard will push it Gonzaga 0 for their last six and one turnover in their last seven possessions So off to an incredible start offensively things have cooled Nolan Hicken Step back three, that's short. EK offensive board, put back, falls off. And a foul called inside against the Roadrunners. But EK frustrated right now, a two for six start for Graham. 7.09 to play in this first half. Gonzaga leads it by six. Minnesota. He is not, nor is Dan Monson that's a, coaching that, that is at Minnesota. Pass. That's going well, back, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, I'm like an encyclopedia. Graham E.K. Just randomness. <laughs> <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> of nonsense. I like that. E.K. with six <sighs> points, four rebounds, two assists. I like Graham. He's, I mean, he's uh, fit in so nicely. Yeah, I agree. Look, you're not going to replace Drew Timmy. Total zag. He's a total he's zag. Right away he's fit in. But yeah. I, what I like is he's going to give you a lot of what Drew could around the basket. And defensively, he's a he's a better defender on this end given his strength. You know, he had real some really positive stretches against Edie in that Purdue game, particularly in the first half, just making Edie catch the ball further out, forcing him to shoot over his body. Caleb Higgins found an opening, missed the shot. Anton Watson with his fifth nice rebound. EK running the floor. And he'll go to the line to shoot a couple. Tell you what. It's just spectacular to watch these bigs run the floor. Whoa. And how about the John Elway pass from the other end? Oh, the one-handed pass from Watson. That's impressive. I'm surprised you made a Broncos reference to our broadcast partner, Richard Fox, I who's initially from him. Colorado as opposed to one of your Steelers. And hey, Harry don't Bradshaw look now. Comments. Don't look now. Broncos are going to creep into the playoffs. <laughs> creep is the right word. Hey. <laughs> we in trust in Russell Wilson. We have. Oh wow! Yeah. What's the what's the phrase they use? Saddle up. He was worth every draft. Ride right on. Or, what's the word that he's always? Oh man, you're not really a Broncos fan. Broncos Nation, let's ride. Is that yeah, what it was? It's <laughs> let's ride. Let's Richard. ride. Let's ride. <laughs> you totally do didn't that know. again, Rich. <laughs> That's great. Here's McGee, kick to the corner. Getting all the way inside was Higgins. Ten on the shot clock, McGee the drive, kick the ball. Higgins has got to shoot at five on the clock. Going to work with three. Shot is long, Stromer earned the rebound for Gonzaga. You know, for a freshman, he does so many of the little things well. Goes to the glass nearly every possession as taught. But defensively, he is in the right spot. Gonzaga hit their first shots 
first three shots from behind the three-point line. They've now missed their last three. Three for six in the game. Gonzaga up by ten. And the Roadrunners slowing it down. Little runner inside by Wilbon won't go. Stromer with another rebound is second. Gonzaga still without a field goal in their last nine shots. And it's been better than six and a half minutes now. And there it is. Bakersfield walking it up the floor again. I mean, their whole thought process now is shrink this game, see if we can't keep it in single digits going into halftime. Seven on the shot clock. Higgins to the rim. Skip. McGee for three. Mark trying to keep it alive, but Anton Watson out of there with it in the head of steam. Right to the rim. Hangs. Gets the bounce. Anton Watson. He's got four. Just the luxury Gonzaga has. As that they've had over the years. Just having bigs that can get the rebound and push it on their own. Right there. Coast to coast from Watson. He's 6'8", 230 pounds, taking it from one end to the other down the middle of the lane. Who's got the guts to step in front of that? And free throws coming now for number 21, Ugnis Yarushevichus. Say that again. Ugnis Yarushevichus. Yarushevichus. Very good, Richard. Watch this. Yeah, bumped here too. I know. Good touch. Well, that's the benefit of you know, great coaching when you know somebody's going to be a big player is you teach them all the skills on the court uh, regardless of position. John Stockton at AAU, Maddie McIntyre at Gonzaga Prep taught Anton from a young age how to do multiple things out there. And that was the first Gonzaga foul of the game, by the way, on Graham E.K., first on the team. 32-21. There's Ugnis. Yaru Shevichus. You mentioned Matty McIntyre at Gonzaga Prep. You coached for a year with him at G Prep, didn't you, Richard? No, I did not. I uh, helped him in summer league for... Right. Uh, he's not asked to come back. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you also didn't have, you didn't have to let a fact get in the way of a good story. That could have yeah. been a good one. <laughs> Should have, yeah. Yes. Well, I knew you were. It was only on their staff program for state bit. championships. Gotcha. Yes. yes. You got your ring. Here's Huff down the lane. Two-handed flush. Braden Huff with four. Oh yeah, that was. Just that was a fun summer. I got to give my buddy Dominic Takaro a shout out. He's the one who wrote me into that. That was a lot of fun. Shot for three off. Loose ball. Huff. Good Quick outlet. outlet Nemhart. A one on three. Ball stripped. Nice play by Caleb Higgins. It'll be Gonzaga ball when we come back. Got to say hi to my buddy Larry. The wild Alaska sport fishing and cruises. Yeah. That's what I think we're seeing from from Gonzaga, right? They got off to a tremendous start offensively. They're finding ways Even when things aren't easy, they find ways to get it done. I Like the resolve Of this Gonzaga team Well, it just you think about all the new faces guys playing the new roles Huff coming back after sitting out a year, you know redshirting. It just seems like it's all fitting so seamless nice. Watson skipped to the corner Stromer thought about the three. He'll drive, hang off the side of the glass. He'll shoot free throws. And when I say that they find a way, what I mean is they're up by 12. It's obvious the Roadrunners are not going to allow them to score 100 points tonight. They've slowed it down. They're going to. They watched the tape against UCLA. They saw what the Bruins did make every possession hard. And Gonzaga can win defensively. And they can find ways to eke out buckets. You just talked about fast break points. Gonzaga nine. Roadrunners just two. They're the Roadrunners with just two fast break points. Beep, beep. Couldn't, couldn't have said it better myself. Dusty Stromer. Now with a cool even ten. Our first player into double digits tonight. Three of three from the floor. Two of two from the line. And two of two from downtown. 
A couple of rebounds. A new career high in the first half at nine against Purdue. It was only a matter of time before he started shooting it better from the perimeter. Higgins got inside, missed the shot. Watson, Anton with another rebound and a run out. His seventh board. Oh, no whistle. Back comes Higgins for the Roadrunners. Into the lane, has it poked away, and a foul called on Braden Huff, number 34. But Watson took a tough tumble at the other end. What do you think, Richard? This a foul? I, I, you know, I, he, he initiates it. It looks worse because of the way he fell. But no, I, I, don't, I don't think that's a call. And it's a clean block up top from the defender coming in late. You agree, Dan? Yeah, I think it's a good no call. God, that Play was so on. hard for you to say. <laughs> so I agree with you more than you think. think. Yeah. Gonzaga's largest lead of the game now at 14. Higgins, baseline jump shot is off and a whistle and a foul called. And this will be on number 33, Ben Gregg. And that'll be number two on Big Ben. Both these teams have gone completely cold. Gonzaga, two of their last 12. And the Roadrunners over their last nine. Early in this game, it looked like we were going to be approaching the 100-point mark for Gonzaga at some point tonight. But the pace has definitely cooled. Zags are two of their last 12, but yet their lead has grown. Let's not lose sight of that. Caleb Higgins, senior from Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Some good fishing down in Arkansas, gentlemen. The White River, really good. He's 5'10", 160 pound, a junior. He's into double digits now with the free throws. And number 22, Cameron Wilbon will come in for Caleb Higgins. 2.43 to play in this opening half tonight. Cal State, Bakersfield out of the Big West. And the 11th ranked Gonzaga Bulldogs. Braden Huff, jump hook. Boy, that's quick. That's yeah. quick is exactly right. He struggled at times over in Hawaii, but that was to be expected. Freshman finally having a chance to play against big-time opponents. Great game against Yale with 19 and then 23 against Eastern Oregon. First chance to really go against somebody with a lot of size, athleticism at this level. 10 on the shot clock. Alexander down the lane. Stromer was right there to contend. And a foul is called. Count the bucket. And it's on Dusty Stromer. I thought he went straight up on this. You guys be the judge at home. They both went vertical. There was contact. But I was most impressed with the split of the pick and roll defense from Alexander. Creative. Explode through that opening. Nice finish off the glass. Stromer with his first personal foul. That's four on Gonzaga this half, two minutes to go. Alexander now with five points following the free throw. It's 38 27. Not the average non conference kind of score that we're used to with Gonzaga, but you can tell the Roadrunners came in here trying to limit possessions tonight. Graham Ike with the ball. Creating space, little shimmy, left it short. Watson battles for the rebound. Put back won't go. Braden Huff with it off the glass and goes. Love the, love the activity on the offensive glass. And that's just been a theme for Gonzaga this year. I believe plus nine on the year when you just look at what they've done against Division One teams. Really good on the offensive glass. Just second chance points. Seven on the shot clock. Anton Watson climbing the all-time steals list here at GU trying to earn another one. Possession arrow gives it to Gonzaga. Under a minute to go. Anton with four points, eight rebounds, one assist. Here's the all-time steel leader Stockton up there at 262. Nobody will ever touch that, but look at where Anton Watson is at 167. He's got Josh Perkins as a possibility. Oh, solidly going to be number two. When you look at 
the list. It's all guards. Yes. Anton, such a versatile defender as we spoke about so many times. 42-27. Alexander, the drive on Stromer. Good defense. Shot up and good. Nice bucket with a left hand from Jaden Alexander. Strong body guard, Alexander. Just going right through Stromer's chest there to get some separation and a tough finish with the left hand. Here's Watson. Squares on Alexander under 10 to go. Skip to the corner. Stromer's three. A little long. Huff. Put back goes. Braden Huff with 10. Higgins. Oh, it does not count. They already wave it off. But Caleb Higgins hit the shot from downtown, but there was no time remaining. 44-29. My wife will be here. You're one of the strong ones. <laughs> they appear to be ready. The Zags are up by 15 against Cal State Bakersfield. Gonzaga started that first half 11 of 13, then went 0 for 9, and then finished 6 of 10. Let's see how this opening half begins. Gonzaga, though, on defense. Higgins with the basketball. They'll try to feed the post. Ran right into Graham E.K. But the bucket is good for number 23, Fidelis Okereke. Okay, I, the Roadrunners have some pieces. That's a well, really they, good bucket. Yeah, for their level, I mean, they've got good length and strength. Namrock, teardrop. <laughs> the basket is received. Watson with another steal almost. Ryan Nemhard now with nine points, three assists. Karakay there to set the screen. Stromer chasing, keeping Wilbon in front of him. Spins. Boy, that was good defense by Stromer. Long rebound up and good. The putback goes from Modestus Conclaris. Conclaris with it again. Right down the lane, going for the hammer. And will lay it in through EK. Nice start here to the second half of the Roadrunners. Everything inside for him, but Conclaris now with eight points. It's an 11 point Gonzaga lead. Nemhart bangs into Higgins and the foul called on Caleb Higgins. That'll be number two on him. Great job from Okaroke getting his hand on the ball and then a terrific finish from Conclaris in transition. He's really skilled. Yeah, Conclaris is. There's a bomb from Hickman. Nolan Hickman into double digits now. Actually, just seven. I gave him a three. Higgins. He is He's tough. Shifting. He is tough. He's tough. I mean, get, despite being 5'10, he does a great job of creating separation to get his jumper off. Caleb Higgins now with 12. He averages a little over 16. Dusty Stromer. Watson. Turns on Conclaris. Now backing his way in. Bingo. Anton Watson with six. That's a big time turnaround right there. Took what the defense gave him. Easy jump shot. Anton now with six points, eight rebounds. Leads all rebounders in the game. Roadrunners had 11 in that first half. Watson had eight himself. Higgins skipped to the corner. This is McGee. Shot is off. Loose rebound picked up by Hickman. And now Nolan will go to the post. Offensive foul called. And this is on Nolan Hickman. I didn't see him. Did he get a wing up? Yeah, it looks like yep. elbow got just a little high into the oh. neck area of Higgins. Oh, yeah, right there. Sold it a little bit, but good job defensively from Higgins to stay in there. You see a lot of guards do that now. Nemhart's done it on a number of occasions tonight. You push in transition, you get cut off, you turn your back, and you essentially terminate your dribble into a post-up. 
Consleris into the corner, Higgins to the post. Okereke trying to work on EK, got it out to Higgins. Five on the shot clock, look at that James Harden wow. step back. Wow. He is just the, the, the separation on that, I mean, he's 5'10". But that step back creates all the room he needs. Nemhard created a little space with his wing. <laughs> he gave it's that move right back to him. Nemhard now with 11 on five of seven shooting. Higgins again, look at that quickness. Hickman clears the mix. EK calling for it. And a foul called on number 23, Fidelis Okereke, the junior from Carson, California. That'll be number three on Fidelis. Braden Huff will check in for GU. EK will go out. Ugnis Yarushevichis, number 21, check back in for the Roadrunners. Will bond with it. He'll drive up there defensively. And now Stevenson will miss it. Anton Watson has it poked away, earned the rebound, then he's fouled by number 25, Jaden Alexander. Anton Watson now six points, nine rebounds. It's 53 39. I don't think so. You know, the, the thing little... about it is, though, you have to be able to play in games like this. Yes. Yeah, Gonzaga can play fast. You want to bog it down, limit possessions. Gonzaga's going to find a way to play in that type of game. You know, th that's what these games are good for, is it just gives you a different feel than what you might see in most games during the year. And a foul called by Jaden Alexander, redshirt freshman from Fairfield, California. That's his second. That's four on Bakersfield this half. Nemhard will try to get it in. Throw it high for Huff. And now Nemhard with the basketball again. Into the paint, step through, hangs and hits. Nemhard with 13, leads Gonzaga. A really good patience there. Didn't have much. Was able to just continuously walk the defense down until he got into the paint. Wilbon working on Stromer. Oh, and Stevenson with the explosion to the rim. Explosion is right. Wow. Impressive. Corey's a sophomore from Bessemer, Alabama. Stromer, corner three. <laughs> Won't get the roll. Dusty now two of four from the three-point line. And Slaris. Here's Wilbon. As the Roadrunners slow it down again. Stevenson from the elbow. Stromer another rebound. His third. Ten points, three rebounds for Dusty Stromer. And now he throws the lob off the catch almost. Poked away under the bucket by Cameron Wilbon. And Zag a ball with 22 seconds on the shot clock. Zags have hit five of their first seven shots in this half. Got four rebounds, but Bakersfield, six of 11, gentlemen, three rebounds. They're hanging in. They've outscored Gonzaga 12 to 11. Shot is off. Watson. Anton will go to the free throw line, but how about that box out Just on Modestus Consleris? Just says so many things. Ten rebounds now for Watson. Just so many things that you know, a lot of them don't even come up on the stat sheet. But just makes winning play after winning play. He's been a winner since he's been here. Yeah. And but and before. Yeah. Yeah. His whole life. Yes. Just a winner. <laughs> <laughs> well, he won state titles. Come on now. I mean, I, I hear you. I yes. hear you. Okay. <laughs> High school basketball season kicks off. Anton Watson, you know, he was a tremendous high school player again, so. He won a lot there. He won. Matty McIntyre, great job. 
as the head coach at G Prep. Don't forget my impact. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Evidently, we did forget about your impact. But there's Stromer from behind, a clean block. Watson up to Nemhard. Nemhard to the rim will shoot free throws. I thought he was going to throw it up for Watson. Guys, Nemhard tonight responsible for 10 of the 22 Gonzaga field goals. I, I just liked the control he's played with. You know, when he's had to, he's put it into fifth gear and been super aggressive, but just a little bit more variety to the pace in which he's played, and I think he's taken good shots throughout the night. Danny, six of eight, one of two from three, four assists, one turnover. Pretty efficient. Very efficient. And I, I think after being in Hawaii and playing the caliber of teams that they matched up with, Purdue, Syracuse, UCLA, this is a, another good test in regards for the backcourt because Higgins is so aggressive because the next game they have down in Vegas against USC, that backcourt might be the best in the country with Isaiah Collier and Boogie Ellis. Uh, Collier... Possibly the number one pick in the NBA draft, only a freshman from the Atlanta area. Gonzaga's largest lead could grow after the charge. Stromar. Ball on number 25, Jaden Alexander. <coughs> Stromar's been good all night keeping the ball in front. You know, he does a really good job of just keep you know, giving the offensive player enough of a cushion and then just using angles to get back into position right there, just took it straight in the chest. One of the thing I, things he does best, I think, as a freshman is he doesn't give up on plays. A, a lot of times in high school you would give up on plays. He doesn't do that. Keep sliding your feet, getting in front. Attacking the glass. Examples of that. Let me ask you this. Are you guys surprised that Dusty Stromer is so good at that end of the floor? He came in here as a four-star recruit. We know about the offense. He beat Bronny James a couple of times. He's a California guy. The hair is flowing, and yet we see him doing all the dirty work. Well, the, the high school league that he played in down in the L.A. area, the Mission League, maybe the best high school basketball league in the country. Uh, very well coached, lots of talent in that league. And lining up the three there. Marvin McGee, but I guess what I'm asking you know, no, to answer your question, offense, right? to answer your question yes, I'm, I am surprised. You don't typically see a freshman perimeter player not typically, you'd expect him to struggle, particularly defensively, and he hasn't had that. Oh, wow. That was a hard foul by Corey Stevenson, and this will put Braden Huff at the free throw line. Stevenson with his third personal. <laughs> Braden Huff now with 11 points. Good response from Braden, though. You know, that, that's a bit of a shock to the system as he knocks down the second. You go to Maui, <laughs> you see Zach Eady, you see Syracuse, you see all of the size. <laughs> you look at LA, you haven't, you know, it's one thing to, to, to get a lot of burn in practice last year, but you know, that's a bit of a, of a baptism. And he just, he struggled, you know, as, as that, that tournament went on, his playing time went down. Uh, but he's had a great response tonight. A lot of dribble right now by the Roadrunners. Consleris trying to get by Watson through a fastball into the middle. That shot won't go. Consleris got it back with the offensive board. Now a skip pass. McGee's three. Watson with a big rebound. We've talked about Watson being more assertive, but I, one thing we haven't touched on tonight is he looks in better shape than he has in the past. A little more explosive. He learned a lot about himself when he went through the G League draft combine in the offseason. More on Anton when we come back, but 7 points, 12 rebounds for the big man. 60-44 back in a moment. Point. Because remember what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. I'll I was, be there. I was supposed yeah, to. Oh, yeah. Dan, it's a doubleheader. I'm I'm calling the first game UW Colorado State for CBS. And then Gonzaga USC will be on another network, ESPN. You got the game. Good for you. Yeah. Nice job, Danny. Thank you. 
Zags up by 16. Here's Higgins. You talk about UW. That'll be a good chance for Gonzaga fans if they're down there to see one of the upcoming opponents. UW is much improved as well this year so far. Talented with Keon Brooks, Xavier Wheeler, transfer point guard from Kentucky. He's really made an impact. The 44 Zags five of eight this half. That's intended for Huff, and I believe it's off of a road runner. This should be Gonzaga ball. They just changed the call. I'm not sure Coach Barnes agrees. Hickman with the catch. 15 on the clock. Huff going to work. Now he'll back his way in. Trying to create some space. Try to throw the right hand up, but good defense down there by number one. Got to check the sheet because his name is a monster. Ugnis Yaru Shevishis. Yavu Shevishis. Yavu Shevishis. Yavu Shevishis. Yaru Shevishis. Good kid. Yes, yeah, really good kid. And here comes Fidelis Okereke, number 23. And this dude's big, 6'6", 260, junior out of Carson, California. Hey, the Roadrunners have some muscle, man. Put it in four-wheel drive, run right over you. I haven't seen too many players really try to move EK out of that low block, but Okereke is definitely is one that can. Higgins missed it. I'm going to grab the rim. And Stevenson just came flying in there. Anton Watson with his 13th rebound. Bounce Nemhard. Got to the glass. Nemhard with 17. Well, just the pass from Watson, but just the chemistry between Nemhard and Watson. Nemhard, just a great quick read, backdoor, perfect delivery for Watson. And look at the defense. Oh, 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 man. Coach Few doesn't like that one over there. Kind of give a look of disgust. That is pretty good defense from Anton. Slide your feet and hedging of that pick and roll on the defensive end. Yeah, that's a bad call. I think we can definitely say that. Not the best call tonight. Anton, seven points, 13 rebounds, one personal foul. Roadrunners basketball, Higgins. Jump shot is off. Ball still loose. Hickman, was that a block by Hickman? I had so many bodies in front of me. Nolan Hickman, seven points, three rebounds. You know, June just getting sped up. Interesting June in the game here. Ahead of Greg. Greg has not played here in the second half. There's June Sukyo. Sophomore from 62-44 is our score. Higgins off the deflection. June with a big collision. <laughs> he knocked Modestus Consleris to the floor. <laughs> Yo is a big dude. Like, if you go over and stand next to him. Yeah, they list him at 215. It feels like he's a little heavier than that. <laughs> but his shoulders, but, like, you see him from his trunk down. Like, that is a thick, tough, strong guy. McGee. Okerko rejected at the rim, and he's hurt. Slow to get up. That may have knocked the wind out of him. Back in it now, Ike. 
cleans it up at the other end. So you see the good and the bad of a young player. June with the great defensive play, <laughs> hustles down and takes a quick three in transition. That's not what they need him to do. EK, the defense foul called. Graham thinks it was all ball. His second personal. Tell you what, being a Big Ten football guy, I love the power of this Gonzaga team. Like, they can literally throw it in four-wheel drive and bring the brawn at you. Well, it's different from, in particular, last year even, where Drew Timmy would be physical on the offensive end, but on the defensive end of the floor, he was more finesse. He couldn't get himself in a position where he would be in foul trouble because it would have been impact the team. I think you're seeing, and you see a team that is much more comfortable, as you like to say, the bump and grind game on the inside defensively. Yeah, Watson and EK together, Richard. It's a lot of bumping and grinding. That's it. Expert analysis. Night in and night out. Can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Here's Anton. Baseline jumper is short. Junior in pursuit. And Slaris trying to drive on Anton and cut him off. McGee. Turnover. Nolan Hickman. Conslaris is back. Hickman to the rim and he scores. Terrific job from Hickman attacking the body of Conslaris there. You're a guard in transition going up against length. You have to connect body shoulder to body first. You can't extend and give the defender an opportunity to use their length to their advantage. Zags up by 20. They take it away again. Nemhard. Yo, left hand good. Junior with his first field goal. Gonzaga's lead now at 22, the largest of the game. And a timeout, Roadrunners. 8.05 to play. Gonzaga Here in the NBA. Now we'll have to have you join again. Pittsburgh, the bonus. Huh? We'll have you guys on uh, the podcast show again one of these days. GonzagaNation.com. How were the ratings when we were on it? Dan? Oh, That's they're as good as they get. Right. Adam Morrison and I had uh, Eric McClellan in the studio today recording. That'll come out soon. No, we're talking about our yeah, episode. We want to know how yeah. the yeah. ratings. Uh, yeah. I like Eric fine. Yeah. But what do you mean? Really what do you mean? Like, so, like, NIL. Like, do we get NIL dollars if we come? At least it's kind of a hat. I mean, this yeah, is you a, can definitely get a hat. This is a commercial operation you're involved in, right? Not charity. Yeah, Hickman, a, a nice finish there to get into double figures, but absolutely. On Zaga Nation, we've got a partnership with Zags Collective to help the NIL with the new rules allowing college players to be paid. Well, guys, Nolan Hickman now started the season with six straight double double scoring efforts. His previous best at GU was just two. Nolan Hickman has arrived 11 points tonight. 70 to 48 have on this team throughout the year. I love the one turnover. I thought it there were times. Good, are you saying it was a good one? Or what do you well, mean I'm just saying the fact that it's one. Well, he, it, because I thought at times <laughs> in Hawaii, he kind of got outside of yeah. kind of being under control. And he's really kind of righted that. Here tonight. Well, the one turnover is the one that Greg couldn't corral. Yeah. I mean, other, I mean, he's yeah. been great with it all night. I wasn't on the floor. Oh, you mean Ben Greg? Yes. Thank you for right. the clarity. It, here's Higgins. Eight on the shot clock over Hickman. Man, he can elevate in a hurry. Jeez. And a tip of the cap from Nolan Hickman. Higgins now with 16. 70 to 50 our score. Here's Dusty Stromer. Nemhard now directing traffic. Ben Gregg back on the floor. He'll go to EK. 12 on the clock. Nemhard hanging. Teardrop flops out. And Slaris. And Slaris, baseline jumper. Bangs through. He's got 12. Slaris. 
quietly put together a nice game had 11 and 8 against Cal earlier this season Good skill is tough. He's long Nolan Hickman got inside missed the shot long rebound to Caleb Higgins Higgins thought about McGee And Slaris now the transition three won't go slapped into the corner and it's Gonzaga basketball Zags now 10 of 18 this half, 13 rebounds. The Roadrunners 10 of 24, 41.7% to 55.6 for GU. Zags still dominating the boards with a 13 rebound differential. Ben Gregg lost the grip, goes to the floor to earn it back. He's tied up and possession favoring GU. Last couple possessions. Bakersfield's gone to a matchup zone, extended a little bit on the top. Ben Gregg's been available in the middle of the floor. Catch, turn, face, make him pay whether it's a face up jumper or look high low. Hickman to the corner. Here's EK against Okereke. Stromer. Into the lane, turn around, bit short. I thought he should have shot the first one on the catch and shoot beyond the three point line. Look at the handle by Higgins. Step back, that's just the two. Offensive foul inside, this on Graham EK. They want to review this. And they're going to review it. Evidently, Graham got him up high. <laughs> you gotta know Graham. He didn't like that. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, come on, let's just play ball. You're always curious about how transfers are gonna fit, whether they accept guys that have been there before or what their role may be. There shouldn't be anything there. Well, I think there's a foul, but I don't think there should be anything beyond that. I don't think he's yeah. looking for his head. So obviously, EK is a larger guy, but, you know, I'm relatively intelligent, and I have no idea how they determine whether or not this is a flagrant one or two or coming. <laughs> how did you determine that? What part? That he's relatively intelligent. I like, did. Why? Well, I, 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 is there I, a I, test? Um, it is. It's just a bunch of colors, and then you have to put <laughs> them shapes. in and shapes. And well, what's you, that thing? You have to do in the NFL. You have to remember five things and then re repeat it back. <laughs> Actually, Richard is smart. Thank you. Yes. Rick. I'm being a smart Alec. I mean, what do you think, guys? Let's let's, put, let's make it better. I'm going to say they're going to call it a flagrant two. You think it's a flagrant one? Flagrant one, thank yeah. you. I would imagine I think it'd it's be a flagrant, flagrant one. one because it's above the shoulders. It's not about intent. I don't think he tried. It's just for a flagrant that, that one. That left, that arm just kind of raked him and pushed him. But again, when you're six, what is he, six eight and two forty, and you're battling six six and two sixty, we're going to get an explanation right here. So it is the flagrant one. Unnecessary and an excessive contact. So two free throws. Yeah, for Fidelis Okereke. They'll also get possession. 70 53. Man, that's a big dude. He's in, yeah, he's in pretty good shape. Man, oh man. I wonder what he does on the squat rack. <laughs> Nemhard takes it away. Hickman. And now he'll shoot free throws. Fouled on, uh, fouled by Corey Stevenson. Another look at it.
Nolan Hickman, 11 points, 5 of 10 from the floor, 3 rebounds. Actually, officially, he's got 12 points. 5 of 10, 1 of 3 from 3. Now 2 of 2 from the line, 13 points for Nolan Hickman. And substitution going out is Tom Mark. And one of the things you want to see out of a player when they're in a program for a third year is consistency. And I think that's what you're seeing out of Nolan Hickman. He understands his role, and he's been extremely consistent in it this year. Here's Higgins. Skip to the corner. Three is off. Offensive rebound. And a chance for Alexander. Got to throw Higgins from the corner. Actually, that's number 10, Marvin McGee. And it's 72-57. Look, I'm a fan of Nolan Hickman because he's a good guy, and he does really great work in this world, but he's loyal. In this day of NIL and the transfer portal, these guys all have options. He came back to Gonzaga. That's a former five-star that would have had options. And he's here, and it's paying off. And the defense by Hickman. Well, what a block that was. I, I do think it's a it's a great case study in the modern in the modern game of as a young guy as a freshman as we get another look here Hick, coming from behind and blocking Higgins it doesn't always work right away you, you've got to stick with it you have to have a longer pers longer term perspective it, it can't just be about the now and you know, he's really grown into a, a really effective player here for GU you got to trust in the process and so many kids won't the way the system is set up now. I wonder how much NIL dollars Dan Dickow would have made back in the day, Richard. What do you guess? A lot. <laughs> Let's bring and those NIL from to the, the podcast booth, fellas. Still, still wouldn't buy you dinner, though, would he? <laughs> he'd, 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 he'd buy you the appetizer. He'd buy you the appetizer. <laughs> If you leave the tip. <laughs> 3.50 to play. Here's Anton. Actually, Dan is very generous. I, I play. Huff, big rebound. Nemhard, three on the way. Bingo. Nemhard with 20. A career high in a Zag uniform now. He's two of three from behind the line. He needed a few of those to drop tonight. Came in two of 17. You know that number could only go up. Higgins still battling for the Roadrunners. Consleras with the rebound. McGee open in the corner. Consleras try to go underneath. McGee runs it down, 10 on the shot clock. He'll take it to the corner. Shot for three is off. Yes. Gonzaga ball, 2.55 to play. Timeout on the floor. Gonzaga on their way to 5-1. and one. Ryan Nemhart level. They're different in the fact that I think Ryan's quicker. He's faster. I think he looks to score more than Andrew. I think Andrew's probably uh, more of a pass-first point guard. Andrew's the best I've seen here in the pick and roll. He's, he was tremendous. He's proven it at the NBA level as well. Off the catch. Missed the shot, trying to earn it back. It's off of one of the Roadrunners, Gonzaga Bull. They are very different, but they have the possibility of being just as effective. Ryan's so different than Andrew. The game slowed down when Andrew had the basketball. Yeah. With Ryan, it's, man, it's... Like he imposes his speed on the game, yeah, as opposed to Andrew, who kind of felt out what needed to be done at that time. Played with great tempo and pace and just patience. When Ryan gets the ball, it's the it's a blur. Yeah, and, and they both have a calming influence, I think, on the floor. You know, this, they're always poised. Rarely saw either guy get sped up. So, Nemhard will shoot. Three free throws here. He's got 21 points. He's three of four now from the line. That one spins out. 
All right, gentlemen. It'll be a different team down in Vegas. For Gonzaga, USC Trojans, Lion Wait. Zags ready for the next test. Yeah, I, I, I don't see why not. I mean, Gonzaga is going to have advantage inside and on the glass and I think defensively. You know, what I'm going to be interested to see, not just against the USC, as you see the three-pointer knock down the corner, Greg, but I'm interested to see, are we going to see a lot more of this three big line? We saw that a lot early. First couple games here at the kennel, and we saw that early in the match. Just gone. It just seems like it's really wide open. Um, and for a team like Gonzaga, that's I, I really believe this team's got a lot of growth left in them. I don't mm. think we're, we're by any stretch of the imagination looking at a team that's pretty much fully formed. Uh, it's going to be interesting when we get to March. Uh, I think that tournament's going to be wide open. And I think Braden Huff, Dusty Stromer only get better on the offensive end. They're going to look to score. We know this guy can score. Nolan has proven he can. And Anton Watson coming off a 14 of 15, 32 point night effort. Two more for Anton. He's got nine. He's a point away from a double double. He has foul on that drive, too. Yeah, should be shooting a free throw. Got 13 rebounds tonight, gentlemen. That ties a career high. Higgins, step back. He's played well, 21 points. I guess the only question that remains with this game against SC is Bronny plays. Does the great LeBron James, the GOAT, show up to watch the game? Will he be in attendance? Is it, you were talking, well, is, uh, there, is there a real chance he's going to play? You look at the schedule, the Lakers are off that night. No, I'm so talking about the his son. I mean, he's, he's starting to practice, right? That's what the reports say. Obviously, USC would keep it close to the vest as long as possible, but, you know, just for the sake of that young man, you hopefully hope that he is back soon. Nemhard in there earning the rebound is second to go along with 22 points, five assists. Dan, so if LeBron James does show up, are you going to show up in your Air Jordans and <laughs> your Michael Jordan jersey? And I'm wearing Tom. Jordans tonight. Yeah. Watson and Watson. Double, double. Yeah, double double for Anton now with 11 points, 13 rebounds. Are you going to taunt him though? <laughs> Tackle him. Terrific player, <laughs> LeBron James. I give you credit. You've never even gone that far before. Final 10 seconds here. Higgins looking for two more. Hickman poked it away. They don't get a shot off. And it ends. 81 65, the final. Gonzaga wins by 16. So again.